What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to create cinematic professional looking footage using just your iPhone 7 Plus. First, I'm gonna show you some footage that I shot and then we're gonna break it down and show you how I got it. So check it out. Now I actually shot this footage alongside my Red Weapon Dragon so that you could compare the two and see just how awesome it really is stacked up to a $50,000 camera. But to achieve those kind of results with just your iPhone 7, it's not quite as simple as just whipping it out of your pocket and using the native camera app. There are a few keys to improving your footage and making it look much more professional. So I'm gonna go over eight steps that I took to achieve the footage that you just watched. Step number one is use a manual camera app. This is huge because your phone has a bunch of auto settings turned on like auto exposure, auto white balance, auto focus, auto stabilization. And though these tools are great for a lot of applications, they will often make your footage look more like home video footage rather than professional film footage. The app that I use is called Filmic Pro, which you can get for about $10 off of the Apple App Store. If you're an Android user, I can't speak for you because I don't use Android phones, so I don't know which apps would be best for it. As for Filmic Pro, it's not a perfect app and it's not gonna replace a DSLR, but I think it's one of the best ones out there for a phone app. Once you've downloaded your app, you're gonna wanna change a few settings to ensure the highest quality video footage. Which brings me to step number two, which is change your bit rate. The bitrate refers to how compressed your video footage is and will affect the overall quality of your image. Apple's standard 4K video that shoots out of the native camera app is at 50 megabytes per second. You have the option to double that to 100 megabytes per second, which will give you a cleaner, higher quality 4K video. To put that into perspective, all of DJI's drones shoot at a maximum of 60 megabytes per second. Essentially, the higher the bitrate, the higher quality of video you're gonna get. Step number three is change your frame rate. Apple's default frame rate is 30 frames per second. And if you want that cinematic Hollywood film look, you wanna make sure you switch that to 24 frames per second. In this example footage, I actually shot it all at 30 frames per second, but then made sure to convert it down to 24 frames per second in post. I did that on purpose because I wanted my footage to be slightly slowed down and have kind of that dreamy look. Step number four is change the audio format. By default, Filmic Pro has your audio format set to AIFF. This format isn't supported by Premiere Pro CC, so before you start shooting, make sure to change the format to AAC and it will then be recognizable by Adobe software. Step number five is undo all of your auto settings. In the bottom left of the app, you have three icons, your exposure, your focus, and your color temperature tools. Simply drag the exposure icon on your screen to whatever you want to expose for, then click the matching icon in the bottom left to lock it in. This will ensure that your camera isn't constantly changing exposures while you're trying to shoot. Same thing goes for the focus tool. Select what you want in focus and then lock it in. With the color temperature tool, aim your camera until you like the auto white balance that it's chosen and then lock it in. If you want even more control over these three elements, hold down each of these icons and it will give you further options to manually set your shutter speed and ISO for your exposure, pull focus to a precise distance and dial in exact temperatures and tints. Now, of course, you have to learn how to use manual settings, which we're not gonna talk in depth in this video about, but I have a library of other videos at Full Time Filmmaker if you wanna learn how to do all of that. Moving on to step number six is use a stabilizer. I personally would recommend using the DJI Osmo Mobile, which you can get for about $300, and will work as a three-axis gimbal for super smooth shots, a moving time-lapse rig, 
and as a tripod. Getting steady moving shots is a huge part to creating cinematic footage. The footage I shot was actually done by taping my iPhone 7 Plus to the top of my red weapon while using the Movi M5 as my stabilizer for both cameras. Now I did this for the purpose of shooting side-by-side -side footage so you could see how the iPhone 7 footage stacks up to a $50,000 camera but there are many options out there in different price ranges for buying stabilizers for your phone. Again, I recommend the DJI Osmo Mobile. Be aware though, if you do use a stabilizer, you need to make sure to turn off the auto stabilization within your Filmic Pro app, or else it's gonna give you some warping artifacts as those two stabilizing systems try to fight with each other. Moving on to step number seven is use multiple focal lengths. Most smartphones only have one lens. The iPhone 7 Plus actually has two lenses, one at about 28 millimeters and the other at about 56 millimeters. This gives you two different lens options for different scenarios to help tell your story. You can easily switch between these two lenses in your Filmic Pro app by selecting the camera icon and choosing between wide and tele. For those who don't have multiple lenses on their phones and you want more options, you can buy third-party lenses to stick on the front of your phone. There's a lot of cheap options out there. I've personally purchased some of those cheap options and I wouldn't recommend it. It's a waste of money. If you're going to get one, I recommend getting a moment lens. They have several options depending on the focal length you want and they're all about $90 each. But again, if you want versatility to help tell your story, it's super important to have multiple focal lengths. The last and final step is post-production. Now I won't go super into depth on this, but color correction, sound design, aspect ratios, editing, all of these play big roles in helping bring your footage to life. And if you'd like to learn my full post-production process, you can check all of that out at fulltimefilmmaker.com. So there you have it, my eight steps to shooting cinematic footage using nothing but my iPhone 7 Plus. Using these steps is exactly how I achieved this footage. If any of those steps went over your head or you're not sure why they're important, I've actually built a full course teaching each of those topics in depth to help aspiring filmmakers learn everything they need to know about how to make a living making videos. Lastly, be sure to subscribe for more free content. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, at Parker Walbeck, at Full Time Filmmaker to keep up to date on my latest projects. If you have any further questions, please let me know.